Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. Welcome back to the channel and we're talking about iOS 17. Currently on beta 4, iOS 17 keeps surprising and it looks like this update will be really, really great. I'm telling you, we're in for a surprise with this update. It's gonna be way better than you initially think. Now, before we talk about that and I show you guys why I really think this is an amazing update. First of all, let's take a look at some of the new features that we have been able to discover on the new iOS 17 beta 4, which is of course the latest release to iOS 17. So right here under the settings app, if we head on to the battery section, you will notice a few like different suggestions right here. So it says insights and suggestions. I don't know if this is 100% new. I've never seen this before on my iPhone, but I'm 100% sure that this icon right here is actually new. Now, this is what the suggestion says. So basically it talks about the iPhone being used more since I updated that way, of course, having a bad impact on battery life. I've seen another one regarding the brightness when I had the auto brightness turned off. So it's really, really interesting. I've never seen this on my iPhone. Let me know guys if this is new, if you haven't seen this before, before I was 17 or not. And I'm 100% sure that this right here, this icon is new. I don't know about this message. Another thing that you will find a new change here on Safari. If you go to Safari, you will have the extension section right here. Now, what's really interesting is that if you go to one of the extensions, now you can enable or disable that extension for your profile. So, you know, with iOS 17, we have all kinds of different profiles we can create within Safari. So here I have two of them. You can see now I have buttons to enable this extension on any of the profiles. So if I don't want to have the extension enabled for every profile I have created on Safari, I can go ahead and individually enable or disable the extensions for each of the profiles. And we also have the button right here that allows us to do that for the private tab. So while you're private browsing, do you want to have the extension enabled or not? You can choose that from here. We have another change here on the App Store. Now, first of all, with iOS 17 Beta 2, I believe Apple had added the time when you're downloading apps. So it will show something like this, how much time is basically remaining until the app is downloaded. And now they have added that for updates as well. So when you're updating apps, you will see a timer as well. And then also when it's installing, it will show right here that it is, it is actually installing and not just show that little icon. Apple has made a lot of changes to the update section on iOS 17. They also did on iOS 16. And one of the new ones that Apple has added with beta four is the ability to basically choose whether you want to download and install the update tonight. So if you have a new update here, if you tap and hold the update button, it will give you two options. You can update tonight or you can choose just to download it tonight. So you choose only one of them. If you don't want to install it, you want just want it to download, it will download but not install on your device. Again, when you get the update here, just press and hold the update button and you will get those two new options. If you've seen my previous video on iOS 17 beta 4, there is a new feature. If you go to accessibility and then you go to display and text size, you will have here a button to enable prefer horizontal text. This is of course for languages that support vertical text. Now what they've done with iOS 17 beta 4 is that they have added this option on per app settings as well. So when you go to per app settings and you add an app, now you will have that option here as well. So if if you want to add prefer horizontal text, you can go ahead and enable it from here. Now per app basis, you don't need to have it enabled system wide. There is also a new pop up on the music app. When you create a new station, you will see this little pop up right here that says a station created. You will get a new pop up for the AirPods with iOS 17 beta four. Basically, you will have here like the new features that the new OS, basically the new firmware for AirPods will add to your AirPods. So we will have here adaptive mode, personalized volume and conversation awareness, basically explaining these new features and giving you the ability to test them out from here. Another change here, a small actual change 
on the storage section if you go to your storage you will see that now under the recommendations review your videos this is basically has been changed it used to be your review your personal videos and now it just says review your videos on the lock screen of your iOS 17 device on beta 4, when you change the change the font size, you will notice that the day and the date right there actually won't get as thin as before. You can change this all you want, but it has kind of like a limitation to it and it won't get as thin as before. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we're in for a big surprise with iOS 17 and this will actually be a great update. Now, one of the things that I think is very, very underrated with iOS 17 are interactive home screen widgets. Just wait until iOS 17 gets released to the public and we get the new widgets from the apps, from third party apps, that will be a game changer. But another thing that is really, really great here is this report right here. So with iOS 17 beta 4, there is something in the code suggesting that Apple is bringing the game mode to iOS 17. If you have seen WWDC 2023, you know that Apple has introduced game mode for Mac OS, but now they're doing the same for iOS 17 as well. So your iPhone will now have a gaming mode. Of course, this hasn't been released. It has only been found on the code of iOS 17. If you wanna see more details about this, I will leave this post from 9to5Mac linked right down below in the description of the video. But basically, iOS 17 has the code which indicates that Apple is working on game mode for iPhone, which will basically enhance your gaming mode on your iPhone and also on your iPad. Now this most likely won't come with the initial release of iOS 17, but we could see this at around maybe iOS 17.1 or 17.2, and that will actually be a great, great feature to have, giving iOS 17 some really, really nice enhancements and making this one of the greatest updates we had in the last few years. And now that we're done with features, let's talk about bugs before we move to battery and performance. Now, since using iOS 17 on beta 4, I've noticed two like major bugs that I had and I'm experienced basically on a daily basis. One of them will be the app library not showing up a lot of times. So when I actually go here, it will show the app library, but it will go straight to the search section. Another thing is the settings app. It actually has been crashing a lot, like maybe two or three times a day, I get crashes here on the settings app. Once I open the settings app, it just crashes and gets me out of the app and it will happen quite a few times. Now, of course, besides some of the bugs that we have experienced, iOS 17 is looking to be really, really great, especially when it comes to performance and also battery life is looking to be a bit better with beta 4, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute here. So here we have the Geekbench score. I believe this is the best score I got with iOS 17. So we have the single core score at 2,637, while the multi-core is at 6,819, which is actually a great score. Now this is with Geekbench. 6 and it actually looks pretty good and overall the update actually works as it should is really really stable despite again those couple of crashes that i had i didn't notice anything bad here so here we have the battery life now just notice that in the last few days during the weekend i've been using my iphone mainly on seller data and in some places where the coverage is not that good that of course has a very very bad impact on battery life so here we have the battery life for the last days so we are here at 90 percent battery health and this is the result we got so for today what we have here 50 percent maybe 55 five hours and eight minutes on screen which is actually quite good then we have the last day so we have here about 100 and maybe 15 percent 10 hours 38 minutes and we had the other day, nine hours and 21 minutes at around 110% battery. And here we have like around 75% battery, almost six hours. So it's actually not the greatest ever, but again, not that bad at all. Given, of course, the fact that I stated that I've been using my device mainly or maybe all day long on seller data and in places with very bad coverage, which actually, again, has a huge, huge impact on battery life. Otherwise, we have some pretty good battery lives here. You can see the first couple of days with this beta. You can see right here, we have around 80% battery, 10 hours, which is really great. And we had here at around 
110 9 hours 53 minutes again not the best battery life ever but it's actually quite stable and it look it looks like it's actually improving every single beta that apple releases and now let's move on and talk about what's next well what's really interesting is that apple didn't actually release a public beta 2 this week alongside with the beta 4 of ios 17 but you get expected to be released this week i wouldn't be surprised if apple actually releases it today it will be either today or tomorrow when apple releases the second beta of ios 17 of course the second public beta of ios 17 as far as the dev beta goes we're currently on beta 4 and we can expect ios 17 dev beta 5 actually next week most likely on the 8th or the 9th of august we will see the next beta and i would expect actually apple to move on to the weekly schedule maybe after that beta or maybe after the sixth one which is somewhere around the end of august so that's pretty much it for this video guys i was 17 again it's shaping up to be a great great update and it will have some really interesting changes so that is it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to be informed more about ios 17 make sure to hit that subscribe button of course leave a like if you enjoyed this one and i'll see you on the next video